there's been a lot of incidents of baristas at Starbucks and other places have not wanted to serve police at all. Now, the last one we covered where, you know, you had a, a coffee shop person put, you know, pig on, you know, the cops uh, coffee. And, you know, that started to be controversy there. Now they have a Starbucks apologizing to two sheriff's deputies out of Riverside County, California, for totally ignoring the officers as they waited to be served. They say the incident marks the third time in six months. Then law enforcement said that the Seattle based um, coffee chain has snubbed them. So, you know, you had the sheriff by the name of uh, Chad Bianco drew attention to the incident uh, on a Friday when he tweeted two of our officers were refused service at Starbucks. He said anti-police culture repeated displayed by Starbucks employees must end. Now he had, you know, posted a video to Facebook uh, talking about this. Of course, they come out saying they're sorry, you know, X, Y, Z. They don't, they don't intend this to happen. But the, the thing is, the reason why people have this um, sentiment against police officers is, the thing is they have created that culture themselves. You can't beat people and then walk off and no criminal charges, no anything. You can't kill people and then think it's okay. You can't say, oh, I thought he had a gun, but it was a cell phone. You get what I'm saying? Then you have a culture in policing where even if it's a cop that's trying to stand up and do the right thing, you demonize that cop, you call that cop a rat, you call that cop a snitch, and you make his life or her life hard or try to get them fired or even some cops get hurt or killed by cops being corrupt. You gotta either go along with the corruption or you gotta be quiet. It's just that simple. A lot of people see in the police videos, they see all these different things. So you don't know if any of the people that work there maybe have some problems with some of those Riverside County Sheriff's Department. You don't know. Instead of just getting mad at them, why don't you reach out to them, Sheriff, and say, listen, I like to know, like, like, why, what is, what is it? Like, like, I mean, did the officers do something? I mean, what is it? And have a conversation and find out why people feel that way. You just automatically say, oh, they're so anti-police. But people don't feel that way for nothing. I mean, you got to think about that. I mean, you have a bunch of people in different areas. You say it constantly keep happening. They only want to serve y'all. I mean, y'all created that climate. You are afraid of your life and you can just kill somebody. But if I'm afraid of my life and I kill somebody, I can get charged. In some states, it don't matter what situation it is, you can get charged. And it matters about the color of your skin or how certain laws are, are portrayed. Then, you know, how the police handle black people or other people who are non-white. I mean, come on, it, it's, it's, and then you also, you know, y'all do things to white people too. So you can't just sit up there and, and, and get mad at, at, at the baristas at Starbucks and get mad at different people. Then you allow white supremacists on the police force or guys that just, you know, corrupt, uh, or, or with power. Then you see stories of cops like Daniel Hostclaw that's, uh, raping women, touching men, doing all kinds of things. The public don't have a lot of respect. And if you want to change that, you got to change the whole culture. But as I talk to people who have been police officers, they said, that culture's not going to change because that's how that culture was originally started. And it was meant to be that way. So basically, if you want the issue to fix, y'all got to fix that. That's not a people problem. That's a y'all problem. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation out of Starbucks. Like I said, it, 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 this is not going to stop happening no time soon. It's not because, and most of the people being on with you who work at Starbucks are white people. Most of the time when I go to Starbucks, it is. I mean, yeah, you see some black people that here and there, but or other people outside of white, but usually there's a lot of white people work there. So, you know, if white folks are pissed off, I mean, hey, I mean, they see what's going on too. So y'all got to fix those issues and problems. It's not a public issue.